my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Tux, and we're working on his Zebra. Now, Tux is doing really nice with the Zebra command, but it's time that we start making it more realistic by dropping food on the floor. Because one of the most realistic scenarios for Zebra is going to be your cooking in the kitchen, a dangerous ingredient drops on the floor, or someone is going to drop some food to your dog that you don't want them to eat, or even just finding something on the floor. So, what we're going to be doing, I have treats in my pocket. I'm going to go ahead and drop them on the floor. You can see Tux is already getting ready. And just like with my hand, I'm not going to move it around. I'm not going to turn it into a game of chase by moving the tree around. What I am going to do, though, is that I'm going to say leave it as many times as I need. And if Tux um, tries to go for it, all I'm going to do is cover it with my foot until Tux makes the right decision, which is to leave it alone, which then I'll go ahead and move it. Tux, leave it. You see, he's thinking about it. I'm going to go ahead and wait for him. Now, one of the two things that I'm looking for, yes, is I'm looking for Tux to either give me eye contact or to leave the treat alone by walking away. I'm going to do that again. Tux, leave it. Because the thing that I want to prevent here is that you can see Tux is looking at me, but he's also looking right back at the treat and staring at it. And I want to encourage that he looks at me instead. You see, he's looking towards me, but he's not looking at me. Ah! And you see right there, Tux tried to go for the treat. I just went ahead and gave him a vocal correction, and I did something called body blocking by stepping in front of the treats. I'm going to back away again. Yes! There we go, he went ahead and looked at my face. I'm gonna do it one more time. Tux, leave it. Now we've got three treats on the floor that Tux is avoiding. Nice and wait for him to look at me. Yes, good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the head to release them. Okay, and now he's free to grab the treats as needed if he would so like. Good boy. And that was a really nice job from Tux. The next step would be to start using random objects such as pens, paper, anything, even a ball if we felt so inclined to. But still, really nice job from Tux. Really nice improvement from his last leave it. Nice job. Good boy. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Good boy.